Vibras. Because we know the Vibras. Welcome back to another episode of the You Know the Vibras podcast. I'm the one and only Wanda Don. And as always, I'm accompanied by Michael Carrasco, but also a very special guest. One of our podcast brothers, Audi, from the Never Famous Podcast. Yeah, we here. You know, yeah, unfortunately, virtual. You know what I'm saying? We do have an in-person um, a collab of us mm-hmm. on their platform, on, on his platform. And uh, you guys got to check that out. Go check out Never Famous Podcast on YouTube and on every platform. It was a great uh, link up. But yeah, man, here we are virtually. Experience. It was great. It was great. It was good vibes experience. and everything. Yeah. And uh, like, but yeah, yes. but I, what is it around this time last year? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Damn, I didn't even think about two years it. Ago, Ash. Two years, yeah, bro. it was a December, it was December. That's yeah. a that was two years ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Damn, it's been a minute. We yeah. got we got a little crazy, we got a new facts. Cool that. Y'all gotta pull up, man. Facts, 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 facts. God willing. Nah, but uh, Audi, tell the people a little bit about yourself, your podcast, um, you know, a little bit of the origins. And so they know about you and, and what your podcast offers and what you guys, you know, talk about and stuff like that and how it started. Um, shit, I just started it because I, I don't know. I always like this. The, like, I want to, I really like the radio shit, but it's, you know, it's dying out. So got to update the, the vibes, uh, so doing the pod stuff. Then I started out mm-hmm. solo, just doing different stuff, just trying to like see what sticks, see what I like. And I, I and then I got the guys on <clears throat> like the, my old cast or whatever. Um, when that was when you guys was on, so uh, we did that for probably yeah. for almost three years. That was a comedy yeah. pod. So when you guys were on, was season four? If y'all want to go check that out, mm-hmm. um, yeah. yeah, it's like three seasons of comedy, and then now we kind of more commentary. Like it's a little bit more radio style. Like to me, I, I consider it radio without the music. Yeah, yeah I'm right. just trying to figure bro. out how to add the music into it, but it's it's a little bit of commentary or everything. Like like music stuff that's trending, like a lot of trending stuff. Um, just commentary. We've been getting more like political stuff. Like some relationship mm-hmm. stuff. We kind of a little bit of everything. We keep it Philly. Nice we always fun. talk Philly stuff. Keep it the yeah. DR stuff, which like yeah, I, I, yeah. I took that from y'all. I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's on, the, in the, on the lane. So yeah, just doing that. Where, but like, where did the name come from? Where did the name come from? Like, never famous. Like, why, why is that? What, what made that catch your eye? You know what I'm saying? For the pod. I came up with, I didn't like, I shouldn't give him this credit. I came up with like five or six different names and I got a group chat with all my sisters. So I sent it in the chat and I was like, yo, which one do y'all like the best? And that was the one that they chose that they liked the best. And it was a little different. I forgot how I had it, but it was some, it was like something, something never famous. And they were like, yo, right. cut it down and just keep it never famous. And that's how it was. That's- but like, but like, we got to talk about that though, because so never famous. So that's basically like you saying that no matter the popularity, like my interpretation, you never want the fame, is what I'm understanding. Or how? Or what exactly is the message behind the name? Because it's a bit. I mean, the way outside looking in, that's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, that he don't doesn't want the, he doesn't want the fame, but he wants to get the message across. You know what I'm saying? Um, you might you might have just gave me the. I'm, that's I'm still in that. That's what I'm about to say. <laughs> you gotta come up with that. That's exactly what I'm about to say. Nah, if I'm being honest, like. I don't know, my, my mind works weird. Like, I just see, like, certain yeah. words and certain shit. I'm like, shit just looks good together. It just sounds good. Right. Just, and I don't know, it just looked good to me. And I was just like, damn, so it looked good. But I, if I'm being 100% honest with y'all, sometimes now I think too much about words. So then I'll be like, oh. yeah. Because it's, it's never famous. So it's like, oh, the, the pot is never going to blow up or some shit like that. But, you know, it is what it is. Well, I'm, I'm going to take that, though. <laughs> nah, yeah. I mean, the name sounds like even when you guys blow up, man, like, Honestly, the first time uh, uh, Juan told me, he was like, yo, I met this dude, this is Day Pod. I heard the name Never Famous for some reason it sounded like, oh, man, this dude's probably got like half a mil, something, <laughs> something. And, bro, but I like the name because even when you guys blow up, it's kind of, it gives a kind of like an irony to it. Because although you, you know, you guys are up there, you still, you still like, for me, it kind of sounds like you're keeping it real to your origins. Like, it doesn't matter how how big you guys get. You're still, yeah. like, keeping it real on the pod. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like, I'm still a regular person. Like, all of us, because we, our, our platform isn't super big, but we've been, like, lucky and blessed that sometimes we'll get a little clip here and there that, that'll go a little bit more than, like, mm-hmm. a regular one. So we might, we've been lucky maybe, like, 50K, 100K, whatever. So sometimes yeah. we might like in Philly, so we'll we'll run into people. It's happening all of us. We'll be like, oh shit, I see you from the pod or whatever. 
And it's like, are we ain't nobody, but sometimes even those little interactions is be right. like, we just we just keep it like regular, like, cause then I I run into other potters from this, from my same city that are at a bigger level, and they they look at it differently, like they should go to their heads, but it's like it's not yeah it's about keeping it real. yeah facts. Now I want I want to touch on Philly, man. I want to touch on Philly. Um, what was it like growing up? Well, did you grow up in Philly? Um, yeah, half here, half here, half North Jersey. All right, well, well, you could mix both. Like, how was it growing up, you know, between the two? Like, let's let's talk about that. Like, uh, the different cultures, you know, on both sides. And, you know, <clears throat> you know, just talk about the East Coast. And because, and, you know, a lot of people don't really know about it. And they don't understand that, like, you know, e- people in the East Coast is not as easy as other, you know, parts of the, of the country. Because uh, it's a lot of uh, competition, I'd say. And the job markets, and you know, also everyone is like hustlers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like it's very competitive. And uh, I just want you to talk about, you know, the upbringing on both sides. I feel like Philly is very like blue collar. You know what I'm saying? You know, head down, work. You know what I'm saying? Go to work type of thing, yeah. type of city. And I feel like Jersey is more of like the, to me, like the party city lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Right, like yeah. you work to party. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, nah, right, right. nah, I don't know. I don't think I don't think Jersey's like that. I think like it got it got its little parts, but Jersey for the most part, it's like it's, a, it's one of the more like expensive states. It's like one of the one of the nicer states. I I, I think that's so. Weird, People yeah. shit on me for that take all the time, so don't take me for it. That's, <laughs> that's the way that I feel about it because it don't really have any major cities. It only has like two or three small cities, and they're kind of bad. But the, besides that, mm-hmm. for the most part, it's all like it's calm. But it was it was well, that's it, yeah. Growing up, in, like in Philly, when I, like early two thousands, I grew up in the part of the city that I grew up in. It was it's really only black people. So when I'm going to school, the only other person that isn't black is my sister. It's just my yeah. sister. So and then when I live in North Jersey, everybody's all Hispanic, uh, white, and then like it's it's more mixed type shit. So it's, right. it's completely different. You can take that for what it is, but it was cool. I like both. It's cool. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Probably, probably yeah. the, the the difference, the difference of uh, culture. Like yeah. I feel like. Jersey's more like Hispanic, I feel like. But I don't know, parts of Philly are Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican has yeah, yeah. No, they're but, uh, Hispanics in Philly, just not where I was. Yeah, yeah. Not like Southwest Philly, where I grew up, it wasn't really that like we were, it, it was real scattered. Like everybody kind of knew each other. And now I see people all the time be like, oh shit, like I never seen these people before. So now it's getting started to be more mixed now. But it's completely different. Wow. It's like a major city as opposed to like a like a small town. Because where I grew up it was like, New Jersey is a small town. So it was completely different. Right. But it's cool. Now, I'd, t- I'd say the sports scene is something that's super important uh, to right. Philly, at least. Yeah. I wanted to talk to you, for you being from Philly, um, why is it that you guys are so passionate about your sports teams, man? Like, I feel like Philly fans are just so passionate. And there's been times, like, you know, uh, in football, at least, uh, like, I'm a Saints fan. The Saints would have gone to Philly and played. And uh, like people be like, don't go, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like <laughs> it's not gonna be good for you. Like, yeah. give your point of view from the Philly fan perspective. Like, why you guys are so passionate? And uh, yeah, talk a little bit about that. Honestly, bro, I don't know. I, I don't get it sometimes. <laughs> I've been seeing the videos. They be they be being. Yo, y'all be going like, crazy. Yes, bro. I don't I don't get it though. But so but then sometimes I, I like I do because it, it's just like a, a certain energy like when the Eagles are good like right now because I know we're on a little mm-hmm. bit of a loser streak or whatever but we went to the, mm-hmm. they went to the Super Bowl last year and they they're already in the playoffs now but it's just like a certain energy in the city that's just like everybody's wearing green all the time and then it's just it's just a good energy I I don't really know what else to describe it besides the energy. Yeah, it also gives, it gives like that kind of sense of like community. Like we we have one one like objective to, that we're trying to achieve together, kind of. Yeah, but but they're the they're the most hated fan base though. Yo, that well, is true, bro. Because you said that because of the same thing. You yeah. said. But that same thing yeah. with the community thing is also kind of bad because when your whole community is shitting on you, it really affects you. So if you, I got right. to know how tuned in you guys are with like Philly sports, but I don't know if you guys see Trey Turner this year. Like he started out really bad and they were booing him and he just kept playing worse and worse. And then at some point they were like, let's just cheer for him. Even if he like, even if he strikes out, then he struck out like once or twice. And then after that, he kind of just, he had a great second half. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah the playoffs. After that day that they started cheering for him, even though he kept, he was playing bad, he literally like, he had a great second half of the year after that. Yeah. So yeah, it, nah, that's a fact. It got, it got his size. Like right now, Jalen Hurts isn't playing good. They talking about like, Going down to the stadium, like the stadium or the the practice facility, and like really like uh doing kind of something similar for him, 
And I think Dang. I think that can help him. But I think that's the type of the type of thing of why I'm like, oh, this fandom here is so like it's the, it's the energy. Like when he yeah. feels so, like supported by literally millions of people, it's kind of like you're gonna feel it. Yeah. Right. I, yeah, but but th- but those cities like I think Philly and probably New York are the toughest. Yo, I think yeah, the yo. toughest cities to play like to play for. You know what I'm saying? Because the fans will either support you like oh, that great, or you. they will turn on you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I think New York is different though. I think New York is the media. Philly is the oh yeah, the media. Yeah, the media. I, I think I like Philly media isn't isn't as strong. Like oh, players okay. here, but it isn't as strong. Like New York media, when they on you, they on you. Like because everybody mm-hmm. kind of hears it. Yeah, but even the fans too. The fans are cutthroat too, man. They don't. They they will tell you everything in, in New York too, bro. I don't. I don't like no no New York team, so I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> so you all Phillies fan? You all like all Philly, like Sox. everything Philly? Philly every, and the Red Sox. Yeah, and Red Sox. Okay, damn, because he's Dominican. Yeah, that's how I started watching. Yo, that, yo I do want to speak about that, man. I feel like us Dominicans, like we either like the Yankees or we like the Red Sox. <laughs> I feel like this. I mean, this man Juan is the only one, but I don't know where he likes the angel. I, I guess he's trying to be a little different. But I feel like if you ask a Dominican, for the most part, they will tell you I'm a Yankees fan or I'm a Boston fan. Man, I don't right. get it. It, it. It's due to the Dominican influence on both right. teams. I feel like they they always have had a lot of Dominicans. Also, not to mention the uh, the cities themselves are the fully Dominican based too. You know what I'm saying? So right. it can come from true. that. But I think it's more so mostly of the players. But that's crazy because in DR, like you said, you ask everybody, well, who do you like? It's like either, either the Yankees or the Red Sox. And uh, But I think now with the evolution of the game, uh, you know, right. players like Otani and, you know, mm-hmm. all these generational players, people are starting to shift out to different teams, which is I think is great for the sports. But let's talk about Otani, man. Nah, it's not great for the sport. It's not great for sports. They owe so you. okay, no, no. It's, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna let you get. Yeah, we're gonna. We, no, 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 no. You're right. It's not great for the sport. Let's talk about this though. Like, what, what about what are our point of views on these contracts that are now we're now seeing, uh, especially Otani, you know, breaking the bank with you know over 700 mm. million. They said, and t- just two players, the Dodgers have already spent over one point, I think, point zero five billion or something on Yamamoto and Otani. Uh, I want to hear your point of view on this and how you feel about the future of sports uh, if it continues to be this way. Go ahead. You, you want you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? Nah, you, you yeah, can go you ahead. Can go first, I don't, I don't, with the contracts, I don't think there's anything wrong with him. What I think is wrong, right. if I'm being 100 percent honest, I think he's worth 700 because if you're a high level player, he's playing both sides of the ball, like you know whatever how you describe yeah, both yeah. sides of the ball, mm-hmm. he's worth it to me. I just don't like that the Dodgers are stacking up. That's why I think it's some BS that it's like. Man. They they get in everybody because they got they got the the really good pitcher from Tampa Bay. I can't remember his name off the top of my mind. Glass guy, Glass now. Mm-hmm. They got him. They just signed this other Japanese pitcher for the three hundred million, and then they got the best player in baseball for seven hundred million, but over like a 20, 30 year span. The contract it's like a super long span, so they're not even having a super cap hit that's gonna like this is like they're just right, this yeah. Like this is a super duper team. They already got Mookie Betts. They got uh, Clayton Kershaw, Freddie Freeman. They're super stacked. So yeah. man. to answer your question, I don't think there's anything wrong with the contracts. I just think that it sucks as like it's all the one team. Like I don't know. They gotta find I, I don't even know. A cap, a cap space, a cap space. Yeah, they they playing with the cap. So it's like I don't even know mm-hmm. what to say, what the answer is. Man, honestly, I, I feel like it was that the way they did, especially Otani's contract, man, that was a smart move. And it took me back, man. I don't know if you guys seen it, but it's that. Somebody did like a video edit of uh, Wolf of Wall Street, and I'm like, man, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Wait, what, what? What was that? So it was like it goes kind of like it goes breaking down like the contract, how you know the oh, deferred okay. payments and all that, and then he said, yeah. when he's ready to cash out, we'll sell the team. At the end, I was yeah. dying. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Well, it is smart. Uh, shout out to his agent. I, his agent, you know, nah, his agent was very smart, smart way to do it. Uh, because he's more than likely not going to be living in LA whenever he's done. You know, what I'm saying and retire, so the tax won't hit him as hard. Exactly. Um, I think, I think, I think it's definitely something. Uh, I think, in my opinion, I think the only reason it damages the sport or impacts the sport is because teams that are, you know, scratching the surface or struggling to, you know, get to that next level. You know, the Angels. <laughs> <laughs> debatable man very debatable <laughs> you hit me you hit me low there bro nah but I, it, is, it is something that i mean we Labor. have the money we no no we always have paid big top dollar for these guys man i mean no, no, Pujols, I paid them. Josh Hamilton Mike Trout 
you know, a lot of these guys, it just doesn't pan out for us. But, you know, there's teams that can't afford these players and they just rely on the, on the farm system. And I feel like this is where it isn't somewhat fair. I feel like they need to figure out a system. But anyways, the Dodgers are going to get booted in the first round anyway, so it doesn't even matter. All of this is for nothing. So if you're a Dodgers fan, mm. I hate to break it to you. <laughs> They're like the Cowboys of baseball. <laughs> Yo, facts. Yo. <laughs> nah, but Cow- Cowboys is something else. Yeah, we, we're not even going to go that deep. <laughs> Yeah. Now, nah, but let, let's get back into the pod side of things, man. Um, for those that are listening that might want to get into, you know, podcasting, um, Adi, what are some things that you can advise them on, you know, you know, certain challenges you may have faced, things that keep you motivated throughout the, you know, podcast journey? And, you know, just talk about the ups and downs. You know, we've talked about it many times. Like, there's a lot of things that, you know, you see. One thing before you answer that I want to say is that there is a great podcast community when you reach out to people. Like, uh, shout right. out to uh, shout out to uh, Ant. Ant was the one that made all of this. You know, not this, but like the connection the of the podcast. The beginning. Yeah, right. The uh, of the impact. beginning, because uh, through Twitter, you know, what I'm saying he, uh, I met him through Twitter on Dominican Twitter. Shout out to Dominican Twitter, uh-huh. and uh, it just it happened. But I, everybody I've talked to in the podcast community. It's always been good vibes. And like I said, like when we linked up, it was great, you know, great vibes off rip, you know what I'm saying? And we had a great time. But uh, I do just want to let you know, like, you know, don't be afraid to do it because everyone in here is, wants to win. You know what I'm saying? Nobody has any egos in, in the podcast community, at least from what I've seen. Uh, Audi has gave us, given us tips. We give him tips, you know, it's back and forth. Uh, there was a one time when we were struggling on TikTok to hit the surface. Right. Uh, Ant gave me some tips and tricks. And boom, it worked. You know what I'm saying? So it's just all about communication and stuff like that. But tell them what you've been through and any challenges you may have faced and, you know, a message for them to get started and how to. Well, how, how to get started? I ain't going to tell you how to get started because it's like 100 <laughs> tutorials. This, this is, the, right. How to start is not this is the easiest. It's the, probably one of the easiest things. Uh, but I think the hardest thing is, like, sticking with it. But I'm going on year yeah. four, and, like, I, I didn't have... This is the third different iteration of the pod. Like I said, the initial, yeah. the, the first time it was just me. Then I spent two, almost three years with the cast. And and then now I have a new cast and then completely redid the show. I, I didn't been in maybe seven or eight different studios, but it's just like keeping, just trying to keep going. Like, honestly, like I I heard, I heard, I think it was Jada Kiss was like, man, or what? It was one of these rappers. I love, I, I love that, that motivational shit. It's just like, um, when you don't have any motivation, it's about consistency. Like, you just staying consistent. Just, you got to stay mm-hmm. consistent. If this is really what you want, like, I'm going on year four. So, and my, like, I'm thinking about year 10, 15. Like, I'm thinking forward, forward. Like, I'm not thinking, like, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. keep working and keeping consistent. I think that's the hardest part. And I'll say that to anybody. If yeah. You got to, you got to want it. You got to, you got to work. You got to, and you got to, like, yeah. you gotta, like, learn the knowledge and all the shit that's trending too. Yeah. But, but what, but what motivates you when you get to that point, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, to keep going though. Honest, like if I'm being like 100 percent honest, it's just not wanting to be a failure. Because I feel like if I give up, I'm uh, that's the that's the only thing that makes me a failure. It's not the amount of subscribers that I have. It's not the it's not the likes. It's not the none none of that. It's so it's if I give up with like without achieving the goal that I set out to achieve at the yeah. moment. So that right, I, right. I guess that's my motivation is not wanting to be a failure. But that's a fact. Nah, that's yeah. wrong, bro. That's I, I, wrong. What about you guys? Because y'all, y'all didn't had y'all, y'all, y'all fair share. Man, shit. Saying, like y- y'all, y'all was together. Now y'all separate. Y'all and y'all still. Yo, together. man, this, this is the thing, man. Like honestly, bro. Like we and then we 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 talk about this on you know off camera, and it's like being in a virtual like <laughs> I would say like scenes, and we talk about it all the time. It's like it's different, bro. Like the vibes is different. Uh, right. like we it's can't, harder, it's, right? a little, it's a little harder, like reading off each other's vibe. And then yeah. sometimes I don't know where there'll be kind of like a delay where I will hear like him say half of the thing, like half of a sentence. And it just kind of like adjusting to that, man. But man, I, I would say what keeps us going, man, is just like the community, man. And, uh, just because we noticed that we, we went, a couple of weeks without posting and people were hitting us up. It's like, yo, when you, when you want to make a, make another, when, when's the next episode coming out? And I feel like that's what's been keeping us yeah. going 
the fact that yeah. we have people that have a routine like each week and on Mondays they listen to you know the Vivas podcast. So that's that's the thing that I would say that keep us going the most. Nah, facts. Nah, yeah, that's true, bro. It's definitely is way harder, bro. It is way harder. Uh, definitely not a preference, but it's a necessity. You know what I mean? Right. That's something, the way to look at it. Um, I mean, you could have easily just been like, you know, it's done, it's over, you know what I'm saying? And just close the chapter, but then you'll be not only failing yourself, but those who had faith in you and in the podcast, you know what I'm saying? And those who believed in the podcast. Um, and I think I see this as a stepping stone, bro, because everybody that has success in content creation or even YouTube or whatever goes through like, you know, the the rough parts in the beginning, bro. No, unless right. you're like a big figure, you know what I'm saying? Unless you're like a big time figure and you step into podcast and like it's hard to like see success in like first five years. It's impossible in my opinion. Nah, hundred percent. Because bro. like because uh, everybody wants to listen to those who actually have the success. You know what I mean? And right, it's crazy. Right. Although, although those with less success, if you want to put it like that, have better conversations and have better uh you know uh, topics and stuff mm -hmm. they just want to listen to the person that has success because they see them as a reliable option for some reason i don't know but it's just the way to look at it and it's hard you know what i'm saying when you when you're you know trying to grow in it and make a name for yourself and a name for your podcast and uh you don't see the numbers you want to see it's definitely uh it definitely makes you lose a little bit of the uh, interest a bit because you're like, damn, I'm doing all of this every week and it's like the same thing. But just know eventually you're going to break through the ice. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's going to, that's where uh, I feel like that's what makes me want to keep going is like one anxious to like break through the ice and see the success. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's how I look at it, man. And uh, I think it's definitely a challenge, but when you have supporters, I feel like that's what makes you want to keep going. And that's the important thing. Genuine supporters, too. I call this shit college. I said, I ain't go to college. Like, I went to trade school, but I call this college. Like, I'm going on my fourth year. I'm about to graduate. So it's like, <laughs> the that I started on, my very first episode is still up. You can listen to it. I, I'm literally like, I got COVID. I'm all fucked, like, coughing bad as shit. Like, that's my first episode is off my phone to, like, the stage that I'm at yeah. now. So, that's funny, bro. Like, it just keeps growing little by little. I keep taking more steps and steps. And even if it's a little Not step, a, but it's yeah. steps and steps. Yeah, that's funny because we we had a couple episodes like that too where we sounded like a bit uh stuffed and uh, yeah, yeah. last episode man <laughs> oh yeah well, well yeah last episode man I sounded like I was dying or something not facts yeah. nah but I, I like the fact that you brought that up because uh, not a lot of people know but I actually like before you know the viewers it was like back in college I tried starting a podcast and it, it was kind of like the same thing. It's uh, it's all started like with my phone. Then I found out that one of my roommates had a mic, like a USB mic. I think it was like the, the blue snowball. So I will ask mm -hmm. them, I was like, yo, can I borrow it? You know, for like an hour and whatever. You know, I have some this and this I can give you. And uh, and I will record like like fifteen minute, twenty minute episode just by myself, just doing that, man, and just in a college college dorm room, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Facts. Adi, I got a question. I got a question though. Uh, this is the last. I feel like this is my last pod question. Then we're gonna shift over. But um, what would you say is like? What would the? What, how would you picture the moment to be when you're like, damn, I made it in the podcast? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what would have to happen, or what would that moment be like when you be like, I made it in the podcast, uh, world? I'd say. Uh, um, I don't, I don't know, but I'll tell you what my my initial goal or your dream, yeah, or goal, yeah. Like, like no, yeah, my goal, my goal is like a hundred k subs. If I can get to a hundred k subs, from there, if, at the at like my work rate, I'd be straight. That's all. I don't know, like, so you know, I'm not saying that that'll be like all oh, the, the I made a moment, but that's that's that was my initial goal. I don't, but I don't know right. what my what, what what would that look like for you guys. So maybe I might get yeah, we, 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 yeah 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 we we've talked about it um and the way we look at it bro is like it's not having a hundred k subscribers but a hundred k genuine listeners you know what I'm saying like yeah. people that are actually gonna tune in because there's people that have a hundred k a million whatever but the numbers don't don't reflect the channel's dead. so it's right. like exactly so it's like I I'd rather you know what I'm saying have 
genuine. Like, I'd rather honestly have like 50k genuine people than like 200,000 people that just dare to subscribe by not listening. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because it's like, I want you to listen to this because it's like good info or good conversation. And like, content creation is not easy, bro. Like, it's not easy at all coming up with topics and thinking of things that are going to work. You mm -hmm. think something's going to work and it's not going to work. Uh, that's actually funny. I just mentioned that. Was there ever an episode that you thought or a short that you're like, damn, this is going to blow up? And, and it did the complete opposite. It like was a, like a... Not not a well. blow up, but like that I thought was going to do better than, than what it did. Yeah. Every week. Every single week. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So I, I just want to... Like, for whoever, like if, if you're listening, I just want you to keep that... For whoever is listening, I want you to keep mm -hmm. that in mind. Like, bro, this should be... Bro, I'll be... Yo, it's luck. It's luck, bro. Bro. Like, but it's... I don't, I don't even think it's luck. I think it's about consistency. That's why I'm like, yo, it's not even about motivation. It, like, it's just, a, it's about being consistent to get to my goal and like, and just working, yeah. working, working. And, and yeah. I, I feel like at some point I'll get there. But yeah, and I'm saying the algorithm is luck though, because it does sometimes like you get an algorithm and you post a similar video and it does nothing. So it's like, I feel like it's all trial mm -hmm. and error, bro. Like it's if they want it to work, it's going to work. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you, bro, there's been like, I've seen cases of like someone would like post a video, like a couple months before uh, on TikTok or whatever, and it does nothing, and then they repost it later and it blows up. So it's like, I genuinely think it's all about the TikTok engine or uh, Instagram. And if people initially like it, they're going to push it out because, bro, I'm telling you, bro, we were struggling for the longest, bro, like on TikTok. Bro, yeah. Y de la nada, y de la nada, bro. I'm like, dang. Bro, it's like we we're getting it's like, crazy. what, like, Two, three hundred, maybe a thousand views, and the, out of and nowhere, thing, yeah, yeah, out of yeah, nowhere, huh. man, we we hit what like a hundred, ten k, next one like fifty k. After yeah. that, like hundred k, I was like, damn, bro, like, what, what are you nothing, doing differently? Nothing changed, huh? Like nothing changed. Oh, you yeah. gotta ask the man, man. You gotta ask no, the man like, because that's what I'm saying. like the the your con like the the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, of course, of course. Maybe yeah, TikTok. Well, but got the button they do have a no, no 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 i'm saying like now we posted dominican content prior but i'm saying what changed for us was to focus on that a little bit more like talk Denise more Green. have episodes exactly exactly yeah. and it, it was something we were struggling with a bit like beyond like trying to find what would like be that boom yeah and it was a D dominican algorithm man it's, it's trial and, I, and error i'm telling you it's trial yeah just keep, yo keep what going, is this keep man because i ain't gonna like well, y'all, y'all been on the pod and, like being with Ant and Ron. They two funny motherfuckers. Like I'm not like I can I can make people laugh, but not like how they can. Like they funny. Yeah, right. Facts. That's I, a fact. So when That's I'm taking fact. shots, I'm breaking shot. Like I'm just shooting. Like I'm like I'm trying to make jokes, and sometimes I'm like, damn, that shit. I, I sometimes I'm gonna <laughs> get my wrong. <laughs> yeah, I might fuck up the whole conversation, but I'm with two people that are funny and that like they can they can pick it up or like with my with my codes now, like they they quick to pick it up and they can just. That's good. Yes, no, so it's it works out, but that's what I'm saying. You gotta just shoot, just keep shooting. Not facts. That's facts, bro. And I think uh, that's the biggest I, thing. Nah, yeah, and and like I'm talking about it to Michael, um, and I mean it, it can relate to Never Famous too. I think, and and you have seen it. I feel like the well, the most successful talk shows or podcasts, whatever, have a woman's presence, not just mm. the man's presence. And I feel like your most successful video or whatever was with a woman presence on TikTok. On TikTok, yeah. Yeah, on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. exactly. But so I'm I think it's genuinely important to have two sides because as men, you know what I'm saying, we're going to more than likely always agree on certain things. You know what I'm saying? It's like very... And you don't want to argue, like, you know what I'm saying? like Right, the opposite. No, no. Like, <laughs> the opposite, uh, what do you call it? An argument, yeah. Yeah. Nah, but I don't. I don't think there's nothing wrong with y'all arguing. Like y'all having different points. Right, right. I don't like y'all go like because that's the thing. With, with I, I've been trying to have a find a female co-host that I feel can, can mm -hmm. add to the show. Like I'm not against having a woman on, but I just want to find somebody to add to the show. But it's like, well, yeah, we three dudes, but we I be arguing like we argue all the time about we the best. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. no. So, so, so basically, what I'm trying to say is that is that is that. People like to hear the other perspective too, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I think right. it's very important. Yeah, I, I it's very important. I Especially women's side. Women not, are not gonna, more than likely, not gonna agree with us, bro. So it's like yeah. it's important to have the woman's presence because they can relate, and it's good because the the, the chemistry is good. I'm just saying, like, I feel like us, like, like you know, we just have to understand sometimes 
we need to try things like that for for things to work. You know what I'm saying? And right. It's, 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 I think it's important, man. You know what I mean? To, so to have the women's this. presence. Or on the same conversation, how how important do you think like TikTok numbers are? Because you 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 said particularly the TikTok. We, we right. Know. I th- I think I think it's important, bro, because uh, we got a lot of followers from it when when right. we did do good numbers. You know what I'm saying? I think it's important because also. The you know you see for instance if you got an algorithm and you did good numbers you see that um they're gonna support that same content because that's what they like especially if they follow you uh, after the content. Do you? Feel I think it's a, a lot of people transfer over from like Instagram and TikTok to to actually oh, yeah. actual YouTube yeah. to, or, or oh, yeah. audio. Oh yeah, if you do it right, yeah, for sure. Yeah. If they if they like it, like if you get the message, like if you if you leave them at the end with like one and more, you got them, bro. I think that's important. Sometimes you got to make that, make sure like my, when I try to do the shorts and stuff, I try to like, uh, look at it always like from someone else's point of view, not mine. I like get out, like Juan like leaves the the head or the brain or whatever. Like <laughs> it's not me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just trying to see what will work for other people. Like what would people like, you know what I'm saying? Or what would make them click on it? And I think that's super important is marketing and kind content creation. And you know, if you start in a business or anything, I feel like marketing is the most important, you know, component to success nah, and, yeah, and there's, there's a lot of ways to market yourself now with this day and age and michael could talk a little bit about it there's oh, a lot yeah, of new yeah, things yeah. Not, not a marketing opportunities also um uh, ai you know what i'm saying gives you a lot of ideas too i don't know if you use oh. ai Audi, but uh <laughs> yeah I, I use it for to make clips for the for the pod yeah yeah. Oh yeah, man! I got, I gotta, I gotta send you some Chat GPT prompts, man. That are gonna blow your <laughs> mind, man. <laughs> you Chat GPT, definitely send me because I don't even know like really what you're talking about, type. Yo, man, listen, <laughs> like, uh, it, I'm just gonna be blunt, like straight clear right <laughs> here, man. We we had a couple episodes where it's like, bro, what the heck are we gonna talk about? And I was like, yo, hold up, I got an idea. Let's log on into Chat GPT, bro. Bam, bam, bam. I was like, damn, this this kind of crazy. And the thing is, man, like for us, the way we use it is like, if we don't really have an idea, I was like, all right, let's see what chat GPT, like, babe, because the way I did it, I have a thread that's used for podcasts, right? And I and over time, I train it. I let it know, like, hey, we did this episode about this and this, and this is what we talked about through the whole conversation. Now, what it does, it remembers that. And now over the time, it keeps, it learns like what we make content about. So every time I, I ask, let's say, yo, we need help with the, with the topic. It's going to mm-hmm. give me something based on the previous conversations that we had that is relevant to, to what we talk about on, on the platform. Right. Okay. And, and but there, there's a lot of uh, controversy behind that though. Uh, like now we have seen, um, a lot of uh, AI being used at a disadvantage right. to artists. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. we talked about it before and uh, it's getting very scary. You know what I'm saying? The whole AI voice thing. Um, I was talking to it. No, nah, it's getting scary. I was talking to it yeah, about it with someone like they could use, say for instance, cause our voices are on YouTube and yeah. like are on uh, audio platforms. Hypothetically speaking, hypothetically speaking, anyone could take that voice and be like, Hey, he said he was going to do this and this to me. You want proof? Here's the audio. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You saying what you were going to do to somebody. And mm-hmm. that was even you. So I'm curious to know if the FBI or like those that are in charge of that have some sort of science behind, you know, depicting these things because some of them sound spot on. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, for me, let, let me be in a, like a media creation nerd going to film school and learning about all that stuff. I mean, you can tell based on, like, if you listen, like, one, the way one person talks and then have uh, another, like, an AI-generated voice, you can right. tell the difference based on, like, if you if you look at, at the wavelengths, like, the audio yeah. levels, you know, uh, the, the pauses and all that. So you can kind of tell. Yeah. But to somebody that doesn't really know, like, man, that sounds, sounds legit. Yeah. And some of them don't have, uh, you know what I did notice? Um, it's hard for AI to pick up on accents or to 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 put the accent. Because uh, I think they seen NBA Youngboy, they did it with his voice, and he had no accent. It was like a plain NBA Youngboy. <laughs> you know, it was the most awkward thing, but yeah. But have you have you heard any of the Audi? Have you heard any of the AI songs? Yeah, yeah. We we actually did a, a, 
of oh, yeah. on it on a, a AI Bad Bunny song. That shit was oh, terrible. Yeah. Oh mm. my god, it sucks. It sucks because yeah, shit on, I completely shit on that song. That was one of the worst <laughs> I ever heard. I'm like, nah, Bad Bunny. I'm not even like the biggest Bad Bunny fan, but his yeah. is significantly better than that. But it is scary yeah. that in like a couple years, maybe like two or three max, it'll sound very similar to that. To what he actually yeah. sounds like. Right. I just don't think that I just yeah. I think that there's just some some people that are too special creatively. Like they won't they you like you you your AI can't mimic the creation and the art that we can think of in our head. Is I think that's right. where it, it'll differentiate certain things of like the people but, that are like really creative and really artsy to the people that are a little bit more yeah, not as talented in that. Yeah, I agree, man. I That's agree. a fact. Nah, but we how do we know we haven't listened to AI songs already? You know, <clears> Bad <throat> Bunny said it in his album, uh, like que usted siempre ha sido mm. AI, siempre ha sido AI, something like that. So it's like, mm. like how do you, you know? What I'm saying, how do you know? Or is he referring to the lyrics? Right? I have, Who knows? I have heard right. some good uh, Drake AI though. I will say that. Hey no, man, it, listen, bro. But that I, Drake I, merengue song. That was fire. That was fire. <laughs> you, can, you can tell, like, well, what he was describing was like, like the cadences or whatever, like, like the audio levels. But oh yeah, Drake song that I heard, I'm like, all right, like, I, it goes back to the artsy thing where, like, his pen. If you're really a Drake, like, I'm really a Drake fan, so like, his I can tell his pen is a little better than what the AI can come up with, and I think yeah, mm-hmm. but, well, yeah. Out, but it does sound good though. I want, I will. Well, yeah. Yeah, well, it's because someone is behind it. It's someone like is interpret like someone is rapping it into like the 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 mic, or whatever. But it's just the AI just puts the voice over the the initial like uh, verse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or the verse itself. So that's why it's like it's not gonna be the creativity because it's a regular artist or something that's not Drake. It's just some regular guy that's aspiring probably to be in that level. Uh, but yeah, it's, I think it's crazy, man. But there are a lot of pros. We've talked about it as well. Pros about AI. Uh, and then cons about them, and uh, it's feel like we we always bring up AI, but it's something to you know be aware of because it's it's there, it's in our faces, and it's gonna be here in the future as well. And we see it a lot, you know, what I'm saying in our day to day lives. And uh, I think it's only gonna keep you know improving, but also being more relevant in our lives. Yeah. So I agree, you. man. I agree, man. I mean, it's, it's it's here to stay. I mean, we can see it every single month. It's like something new, something new AI related. But yeah. I feel like my my opinion, bro. The main thing is, I feel like it comes back to originality. Like mm-hmm. you can teach AI like a bunch of things, this and that. But like you said, you can always see the difference when somebody's mm-hmm. truly like. Uh, original and like can come up with different different topics, different and different ideas that AI man. It, to be honest, it, it, it will never be as good as the human brain. Yeah, it's impossible. AI listening, but uh, AI, AI listening <laughs> on the internet listening to us right now. Well, well, Yo, well, have, you ever, well, well, well have you ever seen the? Well, we, we might go talk to it. Did you ever see the uh, Joe Rogan AI podcast or no? Yeah, for like twenty seconds, and then I'm like, this some bullshit. Yeah, it's right. crazy. But uh but not, <laughs> it's crazy, man. Let's get away from AI. 2024 is around the corner, Audi. Uh what are your upcoming plans for the podcast in this new year? If if you want to share some plans for yourself, like some goals, some pre, you know, resolutions so everyone can hear them. But uh what what do you have for the pod though? Like what's coming up for Never Famous in 2024? What are some plans that you want to share if you want to share any? If not, we yeah, can well, close it out. Yeah, I, I should. No, nah, no. Nah, we ain't. Well, hold on, because I'm going to answer this, but I got, do have some questions huh. for you all. I just wanted to be. Oh, bet, 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 bet. Hold up now. <laughs> finish your part, and then I was like, I'll ask my stuff at the end. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So you should have told me, man. We, yeah, I should have. You're right. Um, <laughs> I actually, so yesterday we just, I, I, I shared on here, we just recorded in, uh, in a, a, a new studio setup that we got. So we do got a couple of different like um, looks, like a couple of different setups coming next year. So I'm gonna try to put out maybe like um, with this show with the with the original like never with never famous comedy. I'm gonna try to bring like as, as oh. however many episodes we can get done next year. I won't. I can't promise a number, but whatever. However, because mm-hmm. it, it is still a thing. With like it, you know, we got y'all seen that episode. Like we all still talk. Right. All. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a, it's just timing. So however many we can get done of those next year, we'll get done. Oh, yeah. Then the the current show we're doing now is two, and then maybe uh, maybe one more. 
So maybe like uh, another sh- a third show and a couple different looks. Maybe Dang. some clothes. Maybe some clothes. I really because this is like honestly where my life like where my where my plan where just my me goes. It just I, I want to do all the things that I've I've dreamed of doing and like creative wise and whatever. I just I, I want to do all of them. So it might not all be next year, but I want to do what At I least... can next year or or take the next steps to the other goals as well. Right. That's fire. That's, nah, that's fire, what's bro. up, man. That's what's up. Now, hopefully, hopefully, it all comes out right, and uh, you guys can can you know also. I would. I'm anxious to see the the reunion, man. That would be great uh, yeah. of the OG cast. But man, I'm happy for you, bro. That you you know you're you know coming up with different ideas and trying to integrate more shows. Uh, that just speaks volumes of you know the dedication and the motivation you have on actually wanting to uh, make the podcast bigger than what it is now. So good luck with everything, bro. I hope you, you know, that. speak it into existence and that it, it, it works out for you, for sure. I appreciate that. What's Let's up? hear them questions, oh, man. I want to hear your plans, though, for sure. Ooh. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start it off, man. First thing, bro, we just got to get back into, like, being in person, man. That's the main goal, yeah. man. Honestly, main goal is, like, being in person. Uh, we've been talking. Uh, I ain't going, nothing is finalized yet, but we're trying to work some things out where we can actually have that in person <laughs> uh, uh, experience back, man. Because I feel like you, you can tell, I'm, man. It's different. It's different. Yeah, it's so different. Like man. the level, the level that we were creating that for like a small podcast channel, man. Like, and I'm talking about like quality, the way everything looks, the conversations, bro. Yeah, yeah, it was so different that, to compare. <laughs> compared to what it looks like and and i'm not knocking anything down like because i feel like we still uh this been a whole learning experience the last what yeah. like year and, and a couple months and nice. we've been adjusting and getting better like and we're not scared and, and i think this, this is the biggest thing we're not scared to invest into into the podcast like we when we said we were going to go like virtual man like we, man, on my end, I probably spend. I'm not even <laughs> gonna throw a figure, but we, we, I spent a pretty penny just making sure we, I was, I was getting the highest quality stuff for it. Yeah, uh, you know, the platform was another issue that was like, what platform we're gonna use? So you know, uh, I mean, I gotta give, I gotta do, it, even though they're not paying. No, shout out to Riverside. I mean, y'all, y'all been great, minus a couple, a couple irks and kinks <laughs> here and there. <laughs> Damn, we gave him a free shout out, man. Damn. <laughs> well, no, it's maybe they'll bless us up, man. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, but facts. I think everything you said was spot on. Uh definitely the biggest thing, you know, I'm hoping for is to be in person. Um sometime, you know, a couple episodes uh next year. How we how we can do it, that'd be great. Also uh integrating, uh getting back into, you know, the public stuff, the public questions. Mm-hmm. Um thinking of doing that, having interviews here in Chicago and hopefully Michael can do some on his own in Houston. Where we could post them on a platform. Well, you, you guys well. are in good cities if, for that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So we got to take advantage of it. We just had to get our feet wet, and then now the ball's gonna get running. Hopefully next exactly. year, God willing. So we'll see. Hey man, Chicago <laughs> a little cold for me, but I might pull up the Houston home, bro. We might get hey, a yo, pull up, man. Pull <laughs> it up. It's seventies right now. Yeah, man. <laughs> Chicago, Chicago has been the best city for like the past ten years, based on some article I have seen somewhere. Yeah. Oh, for what? What are you talking? That you guys have to work. <laughs> nah, Chicago has been voted best city, bro. Every year, literally, bro. I can't remember the. Hey. Uh, I think, let me see. I, I'll find it and I'll let you know. But uh, <laughs> you gotta erase that website off your phone. We got nah, bro. Yeah. It, it's not. It's a legit. It's a legit thing, bro. Literally, Stop for that subscription, whatever you. The Yo, hell, man. Bro, they yeah. lying, bro. Chicago <laughs> Post. Nah, the, <laughs> no, bro. The Traveler, Traveler, uh, Readers Choice Awards, bro. For seven straight years, Chicago has been voted best big city in the U.S. for a remarkable seventh consecutive year. It's mm. facts. Okay. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't yeah. gonna lie, man. That, downtown Chicago is fire, bro. Yeah, bro. That, that's the that probably... Bay, bro. The architecture is probably the best architecture yeah. in the United States, in my opinion. I'm trying to see the the architecture in Houston. I heard bro. Man, it's, they they it's thick down there. You know what I'm saying? We hey. <laughs> What's up, man? This is <laughs> and man, the highways out here, man. The biggest thing <laughs> over here, man. People, 
Every single person that comes over here to tell me, man, y'all highways wide as hell. I'm like, yep. Hey, yo. <laughs> you see the multiple lanes, a whole bunch of cars. You see what I'm saying? That's yeah, better. man. That's better for traveler's choice. This Houston. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Hey. Yo, thank y'all for inviting me. And like I said, oh, yeah, thanks. We're gonna, we got to keep doing this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's a place, we all part of the, the same pod family, the same pod tree. Yep. That's, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Nah, bro. Appreciate you coming on. Thank you for taking time out of your day. We're Central Time, you're Easter Time, so it's a bit more later where you are. So yeah, that's that's the only disadvantage. But he's drinking something on over there. That looks good. <laughs> yeah, mellow him Word. down a little bit. <laughs> nah, but make sh- guys make sure uh, to follow and subscribe to Never Famous Podcast. Uh, we're gonna put it in the description and somewhere maybe on the screen. Make sure you go check them out. Subscribe to the pl- uh, the platform. We might be over there soon, so make sure you hit that notification bell on their platform too, so you're notified when we are over there. It probably will be unannounced. Who knows? Or no, maybe next week, maybe next, maybe the first week of the new year. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, make sure you guys be stay tuned and uh, definitely tune into their content. Great content. I like the transition that he has made. Uh, phenomenal. Uh, it's crazy. It shows your versatility. Uh, it's, it's really, it's, it's 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 very impressive, bro. Honestly, how you could uh, you know rebrand so quickly. Yo, um, and have success. So it's it's mm-hmm. great to see, man. Um, but now I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you again for coming onto the platform. Um, and yeah, we're gonna close it out here. So guys, make sure you hit that like button, comment something positive down below. But as always, as you know the people I said, remember to subscribe and mm, let's, let's vibe. vibe. Peace. Moli bas. Hablamos el martes. Hey. Man, this man took my whole tagline. Hey, too late, man. <laughs> <laughs>